Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain to you the proof that the summation of the probability mass function of the hypergeometric distribution is equal to 1. Now let's start with our proof. Summation of the probability mass function, in this case we're going to use this one. We'll put it in here. Then this is x equals to 0 to k. So we'll have here x equals to 0 to k. Then n and k are constants because they are just the parameters on this probability mass function. So we can move this out from the summation like this. 1 over n chooses k. And we're left with m chooses x and n minus m chooses k minus x. We can simplify this. We can remove this summation by the use of the one to one this identity as shown below. One to one this identity states that summation of m chooses k times n chooses r minus k from k equal to 0 until r is equal to m plus n chooses r. If this identity is unclear to you or you don't have any knowledge about this identity, I have a video that shows how to prove this. You can check out the link in the description below that I provided. Now let us continue. We can make this one same with this one by letting this capital M equal to this small m in here, small x to be equal to this small k, which is this one, capital N minus capital M to be equal to this small n, like this one, and capital K to be equal to R with this one. Then this one will become like this one. And here we have this one will be equal to this one. The constant is this one. And this summation, which is equal to this one, is this one. That is small m, which is capital M, plus small n, which is capital N minus capital M. Then R is capital K, which is this one. Then M, N minus M can be cancelled. Then we're left with N chooses K for this one. Then N chooses K over N chooses K in here. We can cancel them out. We're left with 1. So this completes our proof that the summation of the probability mass function of the hypergeometric distribution is equal to 1.